What's up, guys? It's your girl, Megan Rogers and... Linda Marcus-Smith. We are Sassy Broad Squad, and we have Colin Braun. Woo. All Braun and brains and super funny. And yes. he just... He's a hottie. Uh, did, uh, he's a hottie, but he's married, so back yeah. the fuck off, Linda. <laughs> Jesus. Just engaged, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, well, then, now uh, you know. Just like married, right? I mean, kind of. <laughs> it's like you put the po deposit the down. On, so. Let's see the ring. Oh, Ooh. Show the cam. I like this. It's from Tiffany's. <gasps> really? Oh, well, I'm I too poor Tiffany's. to touch it. I'm kind of white trash, so that year. It's okay. I'll wipe it off. I love <laughs> you Tiffany's. should wipe off my white trash DNA <laughs> off of that. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a Bloods handkerchief? Um, yes, I'm a member of the Los Angeles street gang, the Bloods. Awesome. Okay, nice. In their nice. Own, uh, war against the Crips. Or did they make peace a few years ago? I don't remember. I don't know. I, I saw that. What was it? Triggered by Big Mike on uh, Netflix? I'm not sure. <laughs> and he did, like, he was trying to do, like, blood and crip coke. <laughs> it was pretty good. This I, is, I, a, I, I this is just it. a handkerchief that I bought to um, put my snot into yeah. <laughs> as needed or wear around my neck or head as or you. I'd put it on my dog. He's got a very tasteful navy blue polka dotted handkerchief. Oh, I love on it. Yes. I love it. Because of his colors. Anyway, you had uh, you were going, and then I interrupted you. <laughs> so if it's you would like to continue. It's good. I don't like even know this. where I was going, so fuck it. You have a dog. What kind of dog? Yeah, what he kind is, of dog you got? He's a rescue. He's some kind of hound mix. Aww. He's uh, white and brown. He's mainly white with some brown splotches. Could be a beagle. You know, he's too big to be a beagle, but he does have the coloration of a beagle. Nice. So we're maybe some kind of pointer. We're not sure. We're not worried. How old is the dog to be? He's what is your dog's name? His name is Barley. Aww. What a great name. Barley. How old is Barley Barbar? Bar? Barley's about four, four and a half months. What? So he's a baby. Oh, yeah. He's still a puppy. So you just had your first baby? We just adopted our first dog. Aww. I, I, my neighbor likes to in, likes to call me the dog's daddy, and I think it's really weird. I've right. I'm not, I'm not a dog dad. I'm just a dog owner. Okay. For me to be a dog dad, there'd have to be some really weird shit going on. Right, <laughs> right, yeah. I'm, I'm into people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll stick with dog owner. For okay, now. dog yeah. owner. Bizarre abominations of man and beast, maybe in the future. <laughs> but uh, Has it brought you and your fiancé closer together? How has it affected your relationship? Well, it's certainly, um, it's nice to have something that we can put all of our love on. Right. But there is always, you know, a disagreement will come up with little things like, uh, you know, if the dog pees on the rug. Yeah. Do we get the dog out or do we just scold the dog? Yeah. And then clean up the urine. Yeah. And I'm always in the, I was in the party of. It doesn't matter what we do. We should clean up the urine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Kyle was in the club of, why don't we take the dog outside to show him where to pee? And then the dog would take like half an hour to pee again. Right. Meanwhile, the urine is soaking into the fibers. I'm with you. I'm not well, going I'd, down this path again. Maybe Kyle can <laughs> take uh, Barley out, and then you can like hurry up and get yes. the yes, pee. Uh, well, there's the teamwork aspect. Right, of, right. It's just we're not always both home at the same time. Oh, got it. So when what I'm about puppy home, pads? Have you tried puppy pads? I or? have not tried them because I've not spent any amount of time looking into them, uh, and I don't feel confident buying products that I've not researched. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. I've I get it. For Love a week this. And, a half, and I have not had time to research puppy research pads. Yet. Yeah, I was trying puppy pads with my dog, but she would tear them up into smithereens. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm not going to spend like thirty, forty dollars on a pack of puppy pads that you're just going to like destroy. Do they, do they just? Is it just an absorbent pad? Well, I mean, I think my dog's kind of crazy. I mean, and I've heard that pets do they, represent do they give their off some kind of odor to prevent them from peeing, or it gives off an odor to encourage them to pee in that spot. Got it. Uh, yeah, and I got it at, like PetSmart or whatever, and I. See. I talked to like the guy there and he was like, yeah, these are good. And I was like, okay, sweet. And that was about it. But I haven't researched them into this. Right. Done a whole lot with it. I didn't. Yeah. So I just started crate training her, which seems kind of mean, but that was the most effective way because when right. I first got her, I worked a lot. Right. Yeah. We, um, we've had a few accident free days in a row. So we're going to get one of those signs like they have in a steel mill. 
<laughs> we have worked four days without We're like, an accident. We're like, it has sunshine in Portland yes. four days. Yeah. I love it. And we've had no code browns <laughs> so far. Everything's been straight to business outside <laughs> yeah. on that front. It's just the front front <laughs> where the pee comes out. Yeah. <laughs> pee. Up until a few days ago. And, and ever since then, we've been, you know, in the routine on our shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you've dirt. only had her or him for about a week. Yeah. We got him last Thursday. So yeah. Sunday, so it's been there's going to be a little bit of a, days. yeah, there's going to be a little bit of a transition. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's doing well. He's, um, you know, gaining that dog confidence. Nice. Um, Spreading his wings. He came on a big hike with me yesterday. I took him off leash. He was very good. What? I strapped a GoPro to his back. That's what I saw. And, um... How'd that go? That is awesome. You know, I, I just kind of zip-tied it to his walking harness, which sits right on his shoulder blades. So as yeah. he was walking, there was a lot of back and forth. <laughs> but then there were times, because we think he's part pointer. Yeah. And what pointers do is they see the birds and they don't move. And so there would be times where you can just get a whole frame of just still, calm, high definition, and then just his ears kind of plopped up in the middle of it. <laughs> I gotta watch it. You know, yeah, Colin, you said you had bad skin. It's actually very beautiful. I yes, see no it is. flaws. None. I have a giant zit on this side of my face. I have one too, but on I've left. got like four pounds of makeup on it, so I'm just like more, more. I don't want them to know my ugly. When I don't wear makeup. Oh, we should get oh. this on the camera. <gasps> that is adorable. Can you is hold that, that on the camera too? Is that on your Facebook? Well, I could yeah, just I, link I, it. Oh, no, yeah. I just put one on my Instagram. I can link your Insta. Page. I mean, I'm sure that we can find a way to edit this in post such that I'm not just holding it. Oh, we're it. live, baby. We're live? Uh, we are live. How many watchers? Li viewers? 79. I don't know. I'm using Follow XSplit right now. I don't have... Um, I mean, we've got subscribers, but I'm not sure about viewers right now. We I have almost three viewers. What? All of whom are very attractive. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Buttercup? I don't, I don't have a podcast of myself, but I'm always astounded by those who are able to bring in such an attractive viewing audience, and you guys are just so good at that. Because these that people very on sweet. the other side very. of this camera are just amazing. Oh, oh. they're not only are they physically attractive, but they're mentally attractive. They have the, uh, they can cook. Yeah. They have the, they smell, you know, when you meet someone and they just smell good? Yeah. Like, have you ever imagined what Michelle Obama smells like? That's what all Oh my God. Smell she like. probably uh -huh. smells like raspberry diamond. Lavender. Lavender farts. With I mean, like a, it's a like. A little bit of eucalyptus. Yeah. Well. No. That's what your listeners, like, viewers, <laughs> followers, subscribers, stalkers even. <laughs> oh God, I wish. Smell like these people. These people. <laughs> Colin, you're the best. Holy shit. <laughs> this is awesome. He See, needs to be here every week. Yeah. What are you doing next Thursday? <laughs> you're like, I'm out of town. Fuck off. What's that? Complimenting your viewers. Aw, darling. You did a, you were co hosting a podcast with Ryan Ahern. I, I just appeared on his podcast. Oh, uh, wow. Twice. Mm. He, he runs it himself out of his living room. Ah. Which is also his dining room and his kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was on that twice, but in the first one it didn't get saved or something, and it was terrible before he got his format down. Uh, yeah. So the second time I was on it as well. It's called so Professionally Outraged. It's a wonderful podcast run by my friend That's and comedian Ryan Ahern. And we will link everything below. Well, I think he said that he's going to... Remember to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And is my hair too tall? No, this no. camera, it's... It's not you at it's all. It's fucking with me. Adjusting the it's camera. The, it's the ghost of Cinco de Mayo. He's like, ha ha. <laughs> all right. Can you all see it? I love all how three? You do the okay, no, you're beautiful now. You, you're like. <laughs> Is that better? No. It's too you're, high. It's like. Just, she's. Just, there you go. Oh, there, there. Oh, that's good. He kind of looks like he could be a political person if he weren't so damn funny. <laughs> I think that would be better to be funny and as Wouldn't a political it? person. Yeah, I would I vote. Know. I would vote. Not for just that. politics. I mean, like it's the votes of the rural conservative people that are the ones that matter. And I've spent a lot of time on construction sites. I feel like I'm I'm charming with them. That's it. You are charming. Just say folksy things that are kind of dirty, so that they get that kind of 
I can't talk about this chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Say things like, well, it's better to be pissed off than pissed on. <gasps> I've heard that. Or like, sometimes the uh, sun shines on a dog's ass. <laughs> sometimes it does. And I've got some footage from a GoPro harness. And really we will link that below. So where can we find you on social media, speaking of which, yeah. to where we want to see you I'm, do more stuff? I reactivated my Facebook after about a year. Really? Or maybe it was just a period of about eight months of inactivity um, in order for social networking on the comedy circuit could commence. Because mm -hmm. a lot of shows are booked through Facebook Messenger and all that thing, which I learned my second day of comedy. Mm -hmm. So I had to bring that devil back into my life. I just got an Instagram in December. Okay. Wow. Because why not finally get with the rhythm of things? Yep. <laughs> right. Uh, and that's it. I've not I've not ripped off the Twitter Band-Aid yet. Right. But uh, you can find me. So Insta and Facebook. Around. Instagram, Facebook, and walking around. Oh, yeah. Is your um, GoPro videos, is that on your Facebook, or do you have a YouTube channel, too? Insta. They're currently all on the memory card on the GoPro. That walk was yesterday, and I've not spent much time editing. Uh, all of them, I'm in the process of slowly finding better clips and stills and putting them on Instagram Okay. mainly. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Well, then we will link all that below. What's your dog's name again? Barley. Barley. One of the, Adorable. One of the best ingredients in beer. And that is why, in fact, before I was just reading off, I was drinking a beer. We're thinking of names for this dog. I start reading, thinking of different names of hops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't name a dog hops because that's yeah. a rabbit's name. But Cascade. <laughs> Chinook hops. Chinook hops. Cascade. Valencia. Sun. Draft. Uh, and like malt. Barley. Yeah. Actually, yeah, barley's good. Barley is good. Barley is good. Let's go with barley. Yeah, barley. That's cute. I, I I like it. I do too. And like barley is kind of like a brown grain, and he's got brown splotches. And we're alcoholics, so it all works. <laughs> I mean, win 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 to win a winter chicken dinner. Yeah. yeah. Good old I love barley. It. Barley's a good boy. Barley boy. So what do you got coming up, um, in the future? Spill the tea, ma. Let us know. Yeah. What do you got um, coming up? Dying to hear this. I've got work next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this we, is uh, odd. We finished collecting soil samples at the Port of Portland early, so I'm, I have a lot of availability in the office that I'm going to send out an email to everybody else in my uh, focus group. Yeah. What do you do? I work for an environmental engineering firm. Fuck, he's smart. Yeah. He I thought he was just UC Davis. Yeah, well, I thought he was a trust fund baby. I mean, they're no. all like kind of. I was homeless for six months in middle school. Wow. Really? You? Yeah. No. We I really thought outside. you were. We just lived in a hotel. I really thought you were like a trust fund baby and you just, huh. I just grew up around them. Nah, okay. that's so never fun. Through. Also, I have thick hair and I'm white, so. Yeah. With I mean. a little bit of confidence, I can get to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you could. I would. Pay. One way at I least. Would, I would donate to that fund me, <laughs> GoFundMe page. <laughs> you donate every time you pay your taxes. That's I true. will. Well, I'm trying not to pay taxes. I always look for anything I can write off. I'm like, I can write this off. I can write that off. If it's a legitimate write-off. If it's a legitimate write-off. Don't write off what you can. Don't try to get me audited. Or I'm else you're going to have to send me cigarettes in jail so I can trade them for protection. First of all, that you, would be you shouldn't smoke. It's bad for your health. Secondly, you well, shouldn't commit it, tax fraud. It's really bad for your It's credit. not fraud. <laughs> if it's, it's not fraud, then you're fine. It is fine. If it's not fraud, then keep your receipts. I, have I think receipts. it would be funny to talk about all on stage about all the things you could do to wind up getting audited. I don't really know what things it takes to get audited. I just know that I'm very actually. I, to be fair, I think it takes system. like not paying your taxes to get audited. Yeah, but yeah. like if you claim too much of this or too much of that. And you could, like, around April right. 15th, you could do a whole bit. And you only have three people watching right now? This is amazing <laughs> personal finance content. I was a banker. I can't help it. I'm just so logical. Just I think my mom is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. I love you. <laughs> I know Nobody's going to love watching. you like your mama. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody will. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you that anybody Your mama's will love always going to love you. Yep. Come on home. You come on home to mama. Where are you from originally? <laughs> I'm from Massachusetts where we do not talk like that. What's, What's that? that mean? We don't talk like we're from the south. Oh. Come on home to mama. Mama, tell you real nice. 
Well, Mama they don't. Will give you weird Irish Catholic guilt. Right. Insult you before saying hi. Uh. Welcome to Massachusetts. <laughs> the spirit of America. <laughs> what is what what is a product that comes out of Massachusetts? Can't um, say the word. Financial services, education, cranberries, and Massachusetts. What is in Massachusetts? Really I know. Boston. Boston. So Cambridge, uh, Harvard. Yeah, e- education. Yes. Um, fish. Fish. Tourism for the New England. Patriots? People, the New England Patriots. I don't really know. Uh, I just left because it was too cold. Yeah. When did you leave? When did you move here? I left to go to college. I So I grew up in Massachusetts. Okay. It was too cold. And then you went and to I, Davis? In, yes, which is in sunny California, which, I, which I loved. Yeah. Totally. And then I stayed in the West Coast. When did you get into comedy? Like in the last yeah. four months? It I mean, you're a fucking engineer. August, August of last summer. So it's been about eight and a half by now. Huh. Wow. I find it very interesting that there's some people that are like super brainiacs that go into like comedy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you and George. I mean, he's some sort of crazy engineer too. Yeah. Electrical. Yeah. And Kyle Harbert, have you heard his comedy? He's an engineer. And I think engineers are able to, I'm not trying to make a pun, but I think they're able to do whatever it is you need to do to put together a set and magic on stage. I've seen it over and over. I don't know. It's like, uh, maybe they're so fucking smart, they can can see more than the average human being. Yeah. What is it? You could speak to right Tell us, smart one. Tell all our... He's Three like, listeners. how much longer do I have to do this fucking shit? <laughs> okay, let's keep him till he blows a cork. I know. <laughs> this, this is my uh, comedy tracking spreadsheet. Oh, my God. Oh, my I've God. Been I have uh, every, every show, every performance, every open mic, every book showcase, everything has been on this spreadsheet. And it, and it gives you the uh, number of the performance, the date, the location, how many times I've performed there. How long I did, whether I got a recording or paid, or yeah, yeah. what set list I did. And so, for me, the engineering comes in in my, I suppose, professional practice. Everything I do when I'm not on stage. Yeah. Um, putting together a good joke really comes from my desire to be funny, and I've always been kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But now I have a way to actually work on it. The engineering is is where I get business skills and you know graphs and. Mm-hmm dealing with people, sending emails in such a way that many comics who don't have a background in a professional realm maybe can't succeed in that one little way. That's super. So are you able to send me a copy of the spreadsheet with just the headers? (laughs) Absolutely. Really? It's a completely free resource, and I will send it to anybody who wants it. Do you want me to? Wow. I want that. Can I link it? And then, uh, like, do you have a skeleton spreadsheet or whatever where we could plug in our own numbers and all that kind of shit? Or I can make that happen in about five minutes. I bet you could. Not in the next five minutes. I need my laptop because it has Excel on it. This is a Google sheet, and Google right, sheets right. don't really. Yeah. It's not. I'm not going to spend my time on your showcase going through right. the process of clearing out a spreadsheet. It's not a particularly right. interesting process. I love spreadsheets. If they come to me ready, set. Just to fill in the blanks. Just to plug in, yeah, the That's not numbers. That's an impressive spreadsheet. Wow. What's You've got an impressive. Like? Well, yeah. because Google's free, you use uh, Microsoft Google Excel. Sheets. I use Google Sheets yeah. just because I can have it on my phone. Right, right. Uh, but I use Excel to set it up, and then I import it in. Oh, so you could import it from Excel into Google Sheets. Yeah. What nice. about alphabetizing your jokes by the title of the joke? Is that dumb? That's. I wouldn't say that it's dumb. It's just not something I've done. <laughs> I have my jokes in a uh, Google Doc spreadsheet. Uh, not spreadsheet, just a Word document. Yeah. But I don't really refer to it very much. Mainly when I'm looking at my jokes, it's just jokes that I've written in the last month that I'm doing at an open mic that I'm just trying to work on. Got the it. jokes that I know work, I know they work. Right, Got right. It. Colin, so, so it's 9.30. If you need me to segue out, yeah. will you like... 9.30 already? Oh, well, it's 9.24. So, yeah, yeah if you need me to segue I. out, you know, like me pull too. on an ear or do like a little... Yeah. Or tell me I'm ugly and I'll be like, okay, segue out. And then... 
I was already going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm beautiful. I'll well, like, wrong. comment, subscribe below. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. let okay. me know. Okay. Yeah. So, back to the spreadsheets. Well, you know. No, I was done with that. I, <laughs> I, mean, I'm I'm I have another one for my finances, but I'm not going to share that one. Well, yeah, no. That's kind of, you know. That's, 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 know kinda, that's intimate. Five, it's intimate to talk about finances. You know. It's also got all my dick pics on it. So. <laughs> so I want to see that. Because the dick pics, they have a r direct correlation to your finances. I just know no one's going to look for them. Now. Okay. In, in finances, like, <laughs> that's a good place to hide my dick pics. Yeah. I would. Ooh, 2035 spending rates. <laughs> <laughs> what is your weekly allowance? <laughs> Nine. It's 85. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching you on stage. I'm a huge fan of your comedy. I've told well, you that you. before. But I think what I like about you on stage is that uh, I don't even know how to put it into words. Some people have to keep watching and watching and watching. And you're so different than every other comic. Mm -hmm. And your writing is so tight, and so funny, so unique, and so real to you. You know, you're not just up there, oh, I've got five minutes, so I wrote a bunch of shit. It's really stuff that you, you're connected to how you feel about every single thing you say and you sell it. Good, bad, or indifferent, or whatever, you're up there, and it's not just shit you wrote to tell jokes. Right. I, I can't make a joke about something I don't understand because I don't understand it. Right. And so I'm going to do a joke about... You know, the difference between gays on one end of the gay spectrum, which are the ones that do meth in motel rooms and their closeted welders and priests and vice presidents. Right. And then the gays on the other end of the spectrum <laughs> that work out that. a lot and they're like successful biomedical researchers and they go to orgies in penthouses in L.A. And I'm in this middle ground of marijuana and tater tots. Right. <laughs> with this, you know. I, I like Pillsbury, it. Pillsbury biscuit can belly. <laughs> I don't know if I think I would prefer Pillsbury over orgies in LA. That's a bit much for me. I mean, but I still feel left out, and that's the whole. Basis I get of no, the I get it, because when you first said orgies in LA, my first initial reaction was like, why wasn't I invited? Those assholes. Right. I know. That's my feeling as well. Yeah. So the feeling behind that type of a joke is being <laughs> left out. <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I can, I can. Uh, audiences. Don't you uh, want to get invited people. to an orgy in LA? I mean, you don't have to go. I mean, I it know it's nice going to be. It would be nice to turn it down. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm it's so kind of like flattering. Oh, like, oh me. my god, <laughs> they invited me to an orgy. They want to have sex I, with me. You know me? what? I do now. Thank you, but no, thank you. Yes. Yeah. It would yes. Be nice. It would. It would be so. You're you right. know what? If you guys have orgies in LA. Don't yeah. be an asshole. Invite us. Because yeah. you know you want to have sex with us as he's wiping snot off of his nose. It's adorable. You have to stay <laughs> genuine in front of the audience. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, I mean, he's got beautiful blue eyes. I'm a sucker for blue eyes, but, you know, he's gay. <laughs> so I don't feel too bad for hitting on My him. My eyes are not blue. They're green. Oh, well, fuck. Sorry. You I'm see you see this? Everybody's got blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. My family all has blue eyes. I'm the one with hazel eyes. Hazel, green, who the fuck knows the difference? They still look like blue to me because they're so... They're just light. They're beautiful. Yeah. I... I don't know. It's just like I got the darkest brown eyes. I almost think I'm being possessed by demons or some shit. Do you think I might be possessed? No. You're so sweet. Repossessed. <laughs> I'm about to get <laughs> repossessed. <laughs> We think we're funny. We're not. <laughs> we call in psychiatry. So <laughs> but we have fun, so what the hell? Yeah. There we go. got guts, you know, hey. There you go. Well, I've, I've got, got no guts. filter. Light up donut thing. Hey, yes. the guest always gets the best light, and that is you. Yes. You are the guest of honor. And he's going to be the guest of honor on show 135 and 6 at Belmont Inn. That's true. Is that your... That's her. Yeah. Him. Her show. He's, yeah, he's no, my and you're headlining. on her show. Four times. Four times. When when is that going to happen? Starting this Over the Tuesday. Next two this Tuesday at next Tuesday. nine o'clock. This coming Tuesday. Yes. This, this coming Tuesday, Tuesday at nine o'clock at 
Belmont Inn, 3357 Southeast Belmont. How much does it cost to free. come see that sexy a ass? Free comedy show. Get to see you for free. Amazing. Yeah, you get to see you Colin for free. free. You can't be giving away access <laughs> to me. I know. I know. That's like crazy. Kind of That's why God. I asked. I was like, <laughs> I was thinking it was like 50 bucks. I'm like, I know. How much is I it? paid 25 free? to see him for sure. You did? You paid I would, 25 I would have paid $25 just to see Colin Braun. That's, I, She's that's why lying. She alone, did pay. Linda, don't, be throwing, don't <laughs> be throwing us under the bus. She did pay. We pay all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So it's free at the Belmont. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be from 9 Is there a to drink 10. minimum? No, just Do I have to bring bar. friends? Yeah, you do. You How do. many friends? About six and a half, I think. I don't have... One pregnant lady. Oh. Midterm or higher. You round up. Yeah. <laughs> after, the, after the fourth month, you round up. Well, yeah. I don't live in Texas anymore. That's going to be hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have a baby in a bar. <laughs> so? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. My mother drank when she was pregnant. Why do you think I'm like this? I think my, my mom told me she dropped acid. And I was like, God damn it. Because I knew when I stared at the wall too long, it kind of moves. Yeah. I'm sure that's medically sound. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? And since you're an engineer and you're super smart, anything you tell me, I believe. Yeah. My fiance is a medical student. He's going to be a doctor in about a year. Nice. Wow. So I, I get to use his credibility. I would. In the medical realm. Yeah. And I can speak with the same level of authority. Not yeah. Not because I'm at that level of authority, but because I carry myself as if I am. Right, right. when I talk about concepts of engineering. Cool. What does he want to do? Like, does he want to do... Uh... Primary care. So he okay. wants to be the doctor that you go to who then tells you which doctor to go to. Nice. He's always wanted to do the hands-on... I like... Pri my primary like care doctor, she is so awesome. And I think, like, it's, with the primary care, you have to kind of forge a certain kind of relationship. You do. Like, you so know, important. what's going on with you, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to be like... I think I got hemorrhoids. I'm like, okay, well, it's fine. We'll send you to the ass doctor and you'll be okay. Mm. You know, it's kind of like, it, it's it's vulnerable. I think it would be kind of hard to be a primary care because I, I don't like I sharing myself. VA, and her name was, uh, I hated her. Couldn't stand her. She was useless. And her name Dr. was. Dr. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> her Dr. name was Yusuf Folly. And so I called her behind her back. I called her Useless Folly. Because it was useless. Are you go. really fucking? I'm dropping it. They and aren't. No. Uh-uh. Just. at the VA in Loma Linda. She's joking. Linda, There's no such doctor. California in Loma Linda. Okay. Well, she since it's not. Bitch. Her medical license number is 116 <laughs> I know, right? Linda, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're teaching me how to We are getting. Okay, joke. well, this please. This is how you dox people. She lives at 1225 <laughs> right? Southwest Vancouver Avenue. I know. In Loma Linda, California, she gets off of work at 5.30. She drives a blue <laughs> Kia Sorento. Please don't report this. We don't need community strikes. Anyway, they do Jokes. not have an alarm system on their house. <laughs> they have two kids that are very kidnappable and very trusting of strangers. And um, very... <laughs> Let's just say there are houses that have stockpiles of firearms, and then there are houses that do not have stockpiles. <laughs> and hers is one that does not have a stockpile of farm firearms. So just letting you know, I'm not, tell I'm not directing anyone to do anything. I'm just saying that if one were to try, the odds of them being successful are way up. There. Just way, way, way up there. <laughs> guys, guys, anyway, this so is a is taste she, is of she, Colin's comedy. Is she a it's talented, too good. Uh, medical professional, or what? Is she a talented medical professional? No, she was horrible. She was. <laughs> she, you'd walk Jesus. in and she'd be staring at her computer, asking right. you questions, and not. I'm big on eye contact. Well, that's like when I get home to my fiance. He's got that. It must be a medical thing. Oh yeah. Mm. You gotta have good bedside manners. You know, even if you're just my primary, you gotta lick at me. You gotta talk to me. You gotta. I have to know, like, and trust Maybe you're you. a little high maintenance. Maybe I am. You know, I mean... Someone with earrings like that, are, it, <laughs> it could be classified as, as high maintenance. <laughs> oh, you guys got to see Colin Braun. Come out to You Belmont. guys got to. I mean, he oh will kill God. you and because he always kills. He and he'll hide the body very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five for five. <laughs> 
Colin, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much it's fun. We didn't laugh this much with all the others. Too. No, because he just, he gets you. He, he pulls you in and you're just like, I'm done. How I'm do dead. Do Kill it, me. You know? Like I was it's a gift. You do it and the you the just trick is I'm always it. on and I slowly impress people at first and then I just wear down their patience. <laughs> so inevitably, I completely alienate them from my lives. <laughs> Hello, mom and dad. <laughs> I hope all is well. <laughs> I don't think they're watching. I snorted. <laughs> I'll snort too if it makes you feel better. No, that's a good. It, it's good if I, I snort. You. I haven't snorted. I don't think I've snorted on this channel yet. I've got some cocaine. Well, let's do it. Cut. Podcast <laughs> over. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Bye. I don't have cocaine. That was a lie. Uh, well, then. Segue. All right. So I will. Lo I will. <laughs> I shouldn't have drank that one. I will link all of your social media. Uh, yes. <laughs> below. I, I think they might no have missing link. Me, so. Oh, shit. Well, then he's got to go. Come and see him. And if you're not here, then you suck. And we will see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.